All eyes and ears turn to the skipper as he addresses his team at the outset of a new season's journey. baseball on MLB Network as you get a look at beautiful Yankee Stadium in Bronx, New York. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Yankees. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Dan Plezak. And Dan, as we get things going this season, it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success. Just like any team, pitching is going to be a key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but if they can pitch like they can, I think this team is going to be pretty successful. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2020 New York Yankees. Now a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. Harold what's their focus as they go for their first win. Stepping in, John Wiggins. First baseman, John Wiggins. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Pham rounds the corner and is headed home. And the run will cross to make this a 1-0 Yankee lead. Yeah, he's not fooling anybody so far, Matt. Digging in to try it again. John Wiggins. John Wiggins. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. Grichik is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Stepping in and ready for another shot. John Wiggins. He First doubled earlier line. in the game. One John for two to this point. Wiggins. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Uh, he's put on the clinic. We may as well say, here comes the batter. Strike one. Because everybody's 0-1. The first pitch strike. He's throwing a first pitch strike to every hitter in this game. When you do that, forget about it. 0-1, what a place to pitch from. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Casilla over to his right. Makes the play one away. Ready for another shot now. John for the Wiggins. First baseman. John Wiggins. Yeah, come on now, big guy. Two outs here, two outs here. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Grichik looking up. And as Yankees fans hear on television quite frequently, see ya. So it's a solo shot to dead center. First home run of the campaign for him as they take the lead four to three. One of those situations you dream about when you're a kid. He steps up in a big spot and blasts his first home run of the year to take the lead. Storybook stuff. Yeah, and the home crowd is loving it as they jumped out in front in the bottom of the eighth and they did what they had to do in the ninth.
to seal the deal. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. Thomas Rivera claims the win out of the pen, his first. Aroldis Chapman earns the save out of the bullpen, his first of the year. So that's a wrap for this afternoon. For Harold, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Wednesday night baseball set to come your way from Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. Tonight, game two of this three-game interleague series between the St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Yankees. Yankee baseball starts now. Masahiro Tanaka, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Hey, let rip, let Having up. third. Digging in, first, John first. Wiggins. John Wiggins. Come on, big guy. What time? Here you go. First offering on its way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. And, Harold, we take a look at the Cardinals entering play here tonight. They started the season out on the wrong foot, dropping one on the road on opening day. Well, here you are, game two. You try to get into somewhat of a, of a routine. You know, game one, you got so many people opening day throwing out first. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo shot here to left. Second home run early in the year. As the Yankees have tied things up, it's 2-2. Two to two. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. Riding in once again, John Wiggins. John Wiggins. First pitch of the at bat. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And that's off the left field wall. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. He's not going to complain, but he was back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as the TCU product Matt Carpenter is the Matt first to bat in the Carpenter. inning. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Well, you know, he had a good... Trying to pick things up Leading where he left off. Yankee. John Wiggins already a home John run and a double Wiggins. for him in this one. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. That's a big pitch right there. Now he's got him 0-1. And, and he still may not be comfortable. Even 0-1, he's still a pretty good hitter when he's down the count. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Man, that's got the sting for the pitcher and his team. Ready for another shot now. Marcos Casilla. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Hey, no one better. Let's go, kid. Grounded softly to the right. Scooped up. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. Seventh inning stretch time now here in the Bronx. Cards lead it 8-3. to three. Digging in to try it again, John Wiggins. Already a homer and two doubles to his credit thus far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 
And that one right down Main Street. Three runs, six hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Here it comes on nothing and two. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Grichik sprinting after it. Two gone. Hey, anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. 8-3 tonight. Sonny Gray earns his first win of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. Baseball now on the show as you get a look at Yankee Stadium here in New York. Game number three of this new season between the St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Yankees. These two should provide some big time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Rick Porcello is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. Dan Fleezak, what do you got? Hey. You don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three. But if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Here's Paul Goldschmidt third. now. First, first chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Paul Goldschmidt. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Good to the right. Full dive. He gathers the throw. He is out. Stepping in, John Wiggins is coming off a three-hit performance in the loss last night. See it, drive it. Come on, kid. First pitch of the at bat. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Harold Reynolds, we take a look at this Cardinals ball club as they enter play here this afternoon. They come into this one in good spirits, fresh off their first victory of the new campaign last time out. Well, Matt, they're coming off winning a big game. I mean, they played great baseball. They scored a lot of runs in that win yesterday. So if they can carry that momentum over, they're going to be tough to beat. The 0-2 home. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field. Home run number three here in the early going as the Yankees move out to a three to nothing lead. was the manager I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy I mean he's hit three home runs against them in this series what more do they need to see four five she's enough is enough digging in to try it again John Wiggins John Wiggins into the windup and the pitch takes a look at one catching the outside corner That one right down Main Street. Oh, Matt, look, it's real simple. If you're going to throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues, you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if he wants to have any chance. Slapped hard the opposite way. Casilla is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. Striding in once again, John Wiggins. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Now here it comes. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 
Well, he's really peppering the zone right there, going up in the zone. I wonder if he stays there the whole time. Usually you'll see that with two strikes, not with no strikes. Don't know what he's waiting for there. It's 0-2. Hit in the air to straightaway center. And here's Richard to make the catch, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're up three to two. Ready for another chance. John Wiggins. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. All right, find your pitcher. Let's go, let's go. First pitch on its way. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll be off the wall in right center. Hit me, hit me. The runner scores from second. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And he can't hang on to the ball here at home plate. Man, come up late in the game and get two. Here's Randall Gritcher. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Up. Set. Here's the 3 1. Now a bunt attempt here. And they'll put the tag on him going to first, but the sacrifice is successful. Man, facing Chapman is not for the faint of heart as he unleashes fireball after fireball. Gets the final out here and another save. What a weapon Chapman is. A one run finish today, 5 to 4, the final score. Pedro Chavez claims the win out of the pen, his first. Aroldis Chapman hammers down the save, his second. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Pleszak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.